going on everybody welcome back to the channel this is Juju the gamer here and honestly I was not expecting this anime to be honest um but fellow youtuber anime Uzumaki 1118 his channel link will be in the, in the description below put me on to this anime and wow it to be honest this I, I enjoyed this episode it was a good first episode to like the groundwork for what's to be expected from the rest of the series now, when I first heard about this anime, I was like, another volleyball anime? Is this going to be, is this going to be like Haikyuu? Which is a great anime. It has three seasons with two movies. It, it is it is fantastic. Highly recommend watching that one. But this sports anime is very different. So before we jump into the actual video, once again, I just want to remind everybody, there will be spoilers about this episode. Leave you, leave a like and a comment in the comment section below what you think about this episode. And also, comment how many blasts that subscribe button for me. It means the world to me, guys. But let's get right into it. So the first thing we learn in this anime is that the main character name is Haruka. She is moving from her previous home to her new home in Okinawa. She's staying with her grandmother. Her grandmother and her cousin, Kanata. Excuse me. The reason why she's moving is because her mom, you know, as you know, as somebody as shown in the clip earlier in this video, her mom is moving away due to work. You know, which is yeah, it's kind of good and bad. You know, the family is still making money, but you're not seeing your mom for a while. You know that that kind of sucks. Um, the first time we even meet Kanata is a very hilarious misunderstanding between the two cousins. And Haruka has not seen her cousin since the fourth grade, mind you. So she does not recognize her at first because, you know, she's uber tall and Kanata is not. That That's just very apparent early on. And it's early on that, you know, Kanata's kind of shy and it's brought up that she, she kind of wants to be as tall as Haruka. So while they're on the way to the grandmother's house, they pass an ocean, and from the way the anime made this shot, it is absolutely beautiful. It really is. And at this point, Haruka is amazed by, by the fact that she is amazed at the ocean and then starts fantasizing about all that she can do with the beach nearby to her house. And it's just, she just starts going off the rails talking about, <laughs> talking about water skiing, <laughs> surfing. It, it just starts to go on. So as you move on from Kanata and Haruka, we are introduced to two teammates from Fukuchiyama Academy named Narumi and Ayasa. These two, these two are not only really good at beach volleyball, like these two are, it is, it is revealed later on in the episode, but that these two are basically champions, that they're the best. They are the best at what they do. And so, and so while these two are, you know, getting some practice in, Haruka, you know, the ball that they're using eventually makes its way towards Haruka. And she's like, oh, wow, okay. She didn't catch the ball. Then she asked it to what they're doing. And they said, we're playing beach volleyball. And she's like, beach volleyball? You know, is it okay if I can watch? Narumi and, Asa, and Ayasa said, yeah, you can watch. Um, and we also learned that these two are from Kyoto. But that Narumi used to live in Okinawa. So that's why she's coming back home. And so... And so then... Then Ayasa, you know, tries asking her... Does she want to try, you know... Want to try beach volleyball? And, and Haruka replies ecstatically, yes. She would like to try. So when she does this, you know, she tries to, you know... At least spike the ball. And when she's trying to run on the beach, she kind of stumbles. Running on sand is very tough, as she realized very quickly. And so, with this shown, we learned that beach volleyball is quite different from regular volleyball. volleyball is that instead of playing with a full team, we're just playing with two people. It's just you and your partner. That's it. You, your partner, and your opponents. That's it. That's all you got to rely on. And so, so while Narumi is basically explaining the point of not having an ace in terms of volleyball, 
she recognized Kanata who was coming onto the beach to join her cousin. And so you can immediately see the tension between these two as Narami kind of lashes out and kind of like anger, you know, asking her why doesn't she come back and the rest of them are just confused like what? So from that outburst, you know, the audience, we can assume that Kanata used to play beach, beach volleyball, but until we're given a reason why she quit, we're just going to have to hold on to that. So then Narami asks if the two wants to play them in a match to seven points. And the deal breaker is if those two even score one point, they win. And, you know, Haruka accepts for the both of them. She's like, yes, let's go. Let's get it. But it's just hilarious that she didn't really know the rules of beach volleyball and still tried to play. And she kind of like just kind of like just cannot out the way when she was trying to explain it. And it was just hilarious. And so while Kanata is trying to explain to her the rules, um, while she's trying to explain to her the rules, her cousin's like, she knows instantly that, like, yeah, since she knows the rules and knows, like, how win can be an advantage in beach volleyball, she's like, yeah, she used to play the sport. I wonder why she stopped. So the strategy that ISR and Army use is quite simple. Attack the newbie. And, and they went early and often to to Haruka's side of the field. So each each hit that went her way, she wasn't able to, you know, correctly attack it. And, you know, I thought it was an ingenious task. Because I'm like, if there's a newbie playing, I'm going straight at them until they learn to get it. <laughs> and if we just so happen to win, then we win. So, and at this point... It's six nothing. It's match point. It's very obvious the two are getting ready to win. And you know, they got the ball their way. Haruka bumps it, and you know, as I shown in the in earlier this video, Nar I mean Haruka tries to you know tries to spike it down to get a point. Narmi quickly jumps up with her and blocks it. But you know they were impressed that the two. But Narmi, excuse me, Narmi went on to say, this is why there's no ace in beach volleyball. It takes two people to correctly return an attack, and it takes two people to win. And so, hearing that, Haruka's fired up. She's charged up. She wants a revenge match between the two. Now, at this point, Kanata's trying to explain this. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is, what are you doing? Stop, stop. <laughs> And so, while Kanata's trying to explain to her, Haruka's like, no, 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 we're having this revenge match in one week. Give me time to practice. Give me time to practice the sport. And we're having a revenge match. And, you know, the two of them are like, okay. Okay, deal. And they shake on it. <laughs> now, this is long after the fact that, you know, Nar that Kanata eventually reveals to her that these two are actually state champions, so you might not... You might want to practice a lot. We got some work to do. But the ending conversation between Ayasa and Narami does in, does in fact reveal that there is tension between Kanata and Narami as to why she probably stopped playing. And and the way Narami kind of reacted to this episode makes me think that Kanata used to be her partner in, in beach volleyball before she left, you know, for the academy. And then, you know, in the, in the ending scene here, it, it kind of shows that, you know, maybe Kanata, maybe there's some tragic past that made her stop. You know, she might have lost both her parents, and that's why she kind of stopped. But once again, we as an audience do not know as to why she stopped playing just yet, but we'll probably be learning that with, as the episodes go on. Uh, to me, th this was a good first episode in terms of how the characters interacted and how they were introduced with each other. You know, at, at this point, the main four characters, I guess, who this anime is going to be based around, especially between Kanata and Haruka, between those two. Um, I, I'm, I'm not sure what the second episode is going to be, but I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be right after episode one. And it's probably, only, it's probably either going to include a training montage of the week or it's just going to skip it entirely and we're going to have the revenge match. 
But that's it for today, everybody. I thank you all for stopping by. This is Juju the Gamer. I'm signing off. Have a great day, everybody. Goodbye.